right, in my first video, uh, we talked about the structure of an atom. We're going to continue off of that. And what we learned from that first video was that uh, the protons, and we were looking at, if I recall correctly, we were looking at the nitrogen atom. Let me get my pen out. Okay, looking at the nitrogen atom, and we said that it had seven protons. Seven protons, and those protons were positively charged. Um, we also determined by looking at the atomic mass that it had seven neutrons, and it had no charge. And then we also determined that it had seven electrons and that was the opposite of protons, and they were negatively charged. And I told you that the number of protons is kind of the thing that um, identifies. Identifies. Sloppy, I know. All right, that identifies what the atom is, if it's a hydrogen or a carbon or a nitrogen. So this has seven protons, protons so it's... Uh, nitrogen. If it had eight, it would be an oxygen. If it had six, it would be a carbon. If it had five, it would be boron. All right? And it doesn't matter if it has seven neutrons, eight neutrons, seven electrons, six electrons. If it has seven protons, then it's a nitrogen. Now, um, I wanted to talk about, well, what if? What if we have this nitrogen, but it ha and it has seven protons, of course, but it has, let's say, eight neutrons and seven electrons. So, well, let's take a look at how that would be. All right, so here are protons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then let me get a different color. And we have eight neutrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well, in the previous video, we um, said that each one proton is equal to <coughs> something called 1 AMMU, atomic mass unit, and one neutron was also equal to one atomic mass unit. And so normally, um, most nitrogens are going to have 7 and 7. And that's going to equal 14 AMU. But the one that we just drew over here, it has seven protons and eight neutrons. So that means this nucleus, that mass is going to not be 14, but it's going to be 15 AMUs. All right. So the mass of this nitrogen atom is um, a little bit heavier. And that helps to explain uh, the number that we really didn't talk about last time. And that's this number right here. All right, 14.07. So the reason that it's not an exact number, you know, like 14, that not all of the nitrogen atoms have a mass of 14 AMUs. Um, this one has 15. Others might have 13. Okay, so if we took all of the atoms, um, in 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 the world, <laughs> we took all the atoms in the world and we of nitrogen and we averaged them out. Then scientifically, they said that um, the average mass of all the different types of nitrogen atoms are is going to be a, an average of 0 0.14.007 atomic mass units. And so, I mean, that's why that we that's why we don't get these perfect numbers. All right, we have um, estimations. And the name for these atoms, the names for these atoms that, that aren't the norm, all right, as maybe one extra, one less, are called isotopes. Isotopes. And you might have heard of uh, a, an isotope called carbon-14, used to date, uh, to, to do scientific dating of fossils and rocks. Um, that's an isotope of of carbon and it, it, its mass is 14 instead of 12 so there you go so now when you look at the periodic table you understand what the atomic number is um, you can figure out 
protons, neutrons, and electrons. And uh, you also understand the whole idea of the um, atomic mass and why that number is not a, an, a, a whole number that it's actually a decimal. All right, I uh, hope to see you on part three.